He said, have you ever heard of Zig Ziglar? I said, no, I haven't. I said, I've heard of zigzag cigarette wrappers, and I know as a policeman, we know what to do with those, and it sounds a little bit like maybe a sewing machine coming. I, I just didn't know. And he said, oh, Richard, you've got it all wrong. This is the most motivational encourager alive today, and you need to hear these tapes. So he gave me two tapes. I listened to them again and again, and I found that just from 30 days, I just got the two tapes is all I had, my income at this one karate school multiplied five times over, and it was a large income anyway, multiplied it by five, and then I said, I've got to go meet Zig. So I'll never forget, Zig grabbed me by the shoulders and said, Richard Morris, you are special. You've got a lot of good work to do. You need to share this positive message across the world. And I'm going to tell you, I haven't forgotten that I still hear his voice in my head, and that was a, a what a commanding voice Zig had. But I'm gonna tell you what really happened that changed me more so than that is the relationship that I saw Zig have with his family. To see him hold Gene's hand just tenderly, like he was afraid to, afraid to break it. He was just so loving and so kind. I'd go to eat dinner with him or I'd go to church with him and no matter where I was, Zig was consistently the same. I saw him at his anniversary party. Now, towards the end, he started calling him uh, honeymoon you know, the, his 50th honeymoon instead of 50th anniversary. But to see how they would just look at each other, I decided I wanted that for me and my wife. So this helped me with my relationship with my wife. It helped me with my relationship as a Christian man. I ended up becoming a pastor. I still preach occasionally. It helped me to be uh, strong in everything that I do, knowing that character is key. And so I, he changed, literally changed my life. Uh, my wife told me I turned out to turned out to be a good husband, whatever that might mean, and I attribute that to Zig. And I, I will always be grateful for the love and the influence that he had on me, not only in business, but especially how to be a man of God. It would not be so had it not been for Zig's influence in my life. I'll always be grateful. The more you express gratitude for what you have, the more you will have to express gratitude for.